Hey guys, it's Brandon again. Now, I have a bone to pick with some of you. I asked you to subscribe to my podcast that's coming out, The Proud Misogynist, and only a handful of people even visited the page. This is going to be one of the greatest podcasts ever created by a man. You are going to meet some people with incredible stories, stories that will make you laugh, cry, cringe, but overall is going to be a great experience. So the link is in the description. Go click on that and subscribe right now, please. Also, this channel, as I mentioned in my previous video, I will only be giving economical stock and business news on this channel. It will strictly be for monetary value and that's it. It will be to push your life forward and give you the blueprint monetarily. So this channel, like, share, and subscribe because if you follow things from this channel, your life will change. People have been on my Instagram, I've seen the testimony of how many lives have been changed because they've taken my financial advice. Now, I'm supposed to say this before I do every uh, video, but this is not financial advice, but my opinionated facts are always correct, all right? Now, if you've been following me for a long time, what do you know about Brandon? Now that I'm extremely handsome, thank you, I know a lot of you thought that, but Apple is my favorite stock. Outside of Factory 7 LLC, and if you want to book your consultation today, link is also in the description. Outside of Factory 7 LLC, Apple is probably the best and most consistent company of the modern era. The things, the innovation, what they're able to do is just incredible. But because of this beer market, the stock has fell tremendously. At one point, over 21% year to date. And people have been asking me, Brandon, is this the end of Apple? Like, what is going on here? And the reason why Apple has dropped so significantly is not because the company is bad, is that when you're in a beer market, everything gets caught up with the sell-off. And I'm actually even more bullish on Apple now because of what is to come. So for those who is asking me if Apple has peaked, I'm going to give you some, some statistical facts and some real life facts and you be the judge, right? So the biggest thing with Apple, right? And this is number one, why I don't think Apple has peaked is because of its brand loyalty and brand recognition. So I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I was in New York and I was on the train, right? And this girl smiled at, wait, wait, no, no, wrong story. Oh yeah, so I was in New York, I was taking a train and when I came off the train, my phone was dying. I didn't have a charger, so I went to the kiosk to charge my phone. You won't believe what was at the kiosk. Nothing but Apple chargers. Nothing was even available to charge any other phone. I'm walking around big um, Atlantic terminal looking for a charger, and it was literally just everything is Apple. Everyone pulling out a phone was Apple. That is the, the, the world is now recognizing Apple as the staple phone as the staple brand to have every time a new iphone or watch or a laptop or whatever drops there is lines of people from miles to buy these products so their brand loyalty their brand recognition is next to none number two is their cash balance and cash flow actually i'll leave cash flow for last let me cover cash balance first i always preach this and before 2020, you know why I've been preaching this. Companies with cash balances of a lot of money can waver anything. And, they sh and companies with ca who keep a hefty cash balance is a sign of maturity, consistency, and well-leaded companies. Apple right now have a cash balance of over $70 billion. Incredible cash balance. At one point they had over a $200 billion cash balance and we could get into that later on, but $70 billion just cash on hand. So this company is doing, is riding out this beer market, is riding out all these uncertain geopolitical issues because they have that cash balance to weather this storm incredible the next thing is this and most good companies have this well almost all publicly traded company have this is debt their debt 
is only 94, a little over $94 billion, which is not that bad. $94 billion to the average person in debt may, may want them to pull their hair out, but you know, the company that is at the level and at the scale that Apple is $94 billion, it's not that bad. They actually, they actually reduce their debt. Uh, I think it's a little over 10.45% over the last year. Incredible. Last but not least is their cash flow. Now, this right here is where it's very impressive. Apple's cash flow is $324 billion. This is a 21.86% increase year over year. So compared to the debt they have, their cash flow has amassed that damn near three times. Well, well over three times actually. And that's just on a quarterly uh, basis. So when people are like, oh, Apple has peaked, the, 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 the bear markets don't always reflect the true value of a company. Apple is way more valuable than it is right now. And during this year, the year of 2022, we, uh, we saw something that was just crazy. Um, Apple, which was considered to be the most valuable company in the world, was overtaken by another company, which was uh, a oil company, which was valued at $10 trillion, and Apple is just valued at uh, uh, $2 trillion. So that was making everyone lose their socks because they're like, how could this happen? but it's the climate that we're in. Gas prices is through the roof, so much uncertainty, but the fact that Apple is still making this kind of money during, this, during these inflationary periods is just incredible. So in my opinionated fact, Apple has not peaked. The company still has a long way to go and a lot of growth to come. So guys, this is my video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this content. And also, the proud misogynist, Go subscribe to that. It's going to be life-changing and inspiring. Thank you. Take care. God bless.